Good afternoon, everybody. It is Meteorologist HY Forecast. Welcome back to new video, guys. This is going to be another update on the severe weather for parts of today all the way to Monday. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing this video right now because we actually do have a better chance of having severe weather today and tomorrow. We have a lot of new updates based on the active alerts, parts of the Storm Prediction Center, and actually based on the radar, too. So, we're going to have quite a lot of severe weather. Multi, It's going to be a multi-day threat from all the way from today, stretching to Monday. Looking like Saturday or, or tomorrow is going to be the worst day. So, guys, hope just stay tuned for this. You're going to get the latest radar and la ra latest news on this. And, I'm, again, it's going to be going all the way to Monday for those people who want to have this information. So, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the active alerts now. So, as you can see, a lot of changes right here into the parts of the southeast and earlier today and this morning. Uh, so, we're going to have quite uh, the worst of it right here. Uh, even there's going to be severe weather in parts of southwest, we're, that's not going to be really anything. This is going to be what we really have to watch out for, possible tornadoes, severe uh, wind, possible large hail. So, in this uh, large area with the biggest amount of color there, uh, we're going to it's like this brownish red color, something like that together. We have severe thunderstorms from watches right there from stretching the Raleigh area to the Virginia Beach area to the Richmond area. And then we actually have these small little counties in the orange area. Uh, we in the little small counties in the orange, we have severe thunderstorm warnings. And then in these small little counties, in the very dark red, brownish color, we do have flash flood warnings where we'd have a lot of rain, which we already had in those areas. And then we had a lot. Of, we have a lot of flood advisories and warnings in parts for the south all the way to the Midwest. So those are the active alerts. So guys, we're gonna be taking a look at these southeast radar first, and those are the areas that are gonna get affected like the soonest and the actually the worst so we go in the next couple hours we're going to have these strong storms start to come in uh, for the uh parts of eastern part of kentucky parts of west virginia, west virginia and we're gonna have very scattered bands there and then not only we're going to have this little area we're going to have this low pressure system to bring in another area for strong storms more into the coastal areas of the north carolina area so that low pressure system is really going to wrap up these storms really fast really going to bring in some very powerful storms there in parts of the from the wet eastern parts of raleigh and then we're going to even have these uh, storms start to stick around there not going to look like they're going to go anywhere i uh, just have some strong storms uh, for the western part of virginia and that actually affect even parts of the ohio valley but again the worst of it will be in the southeast and then we're going to have these strong, that low pressure to the, take these storms off to the Atlantic. But that's not going to stop these storms into the uh, Virginia area. Sorry, guys. Uh, the Virginia area are really going to have some strong storms there. And then that should go off by um, by uh, tonight. And then tomorrow looks like a clean, a, a normal day. We're just going to have some strong storms move into the Plains area. Uh, but after today, not looking like any storms forming after t of today in the southeast. So right now we have in the next hour or so we're gonna have some strong uh two strong powerful bands that are gonna be very very small into the Texas area. Not looking that they're gonna produce anything though. But this high pressure system right here, it's really gonna make it fall apart very fast. It's just gonna have some small little areas where they can get some heavy rain, but not any chance for possibly having tornadoes. And then we're gonna have some moisture come in as we go into tomorrow. We can actually have some more moisture. Uh so tomorrow morning we can have some very strong bands moving to the uh areas in the panhandle of texas very strong bands there powerful powerful possibly large hail maybe some chances for tornadoes as this look like it's going to be a bit worse and a bit uh wider so it can possibly have bigger chances for producing tornadoes and then later after that uh later after sunday this is going to be sunday nothing looking like on sunday but on monday is looking like um or sorry this is saturday yeah, this is uh, Saturday, looking like we're not going to have anything come in right here uh, to the parts right here to the uh, Texas area. But that's not that's going to change very fast. We're going to have some uh, multiple bands come in this area, actually up to eight really major bands there. It's going to be very rare if we're going to have those low pressures and form to the north. And it's actually going to push these uh, it's going to push these storms to the south instead of the opposite where it usually goes into the north. But we're going to have multiple bands, very complex though. It's going to bring some severe weather for the Wichita area, for the Dodge City area, for the Armarillo area. It's just multiple, multiple bands there that can bring a widespread threat. It's going to even move into the Oklahoma City area, and then it's going to get a bit smaller. It's going to split into two areas as this high pressure system again is going to mess it up there. We're going to have some into the southern part of Oklahoma and then parts of the more central areas of Oklahoma. 
again can bring a widespread area of first severe weather. Gonna move into the Dallas area now quickly. A go away on Sunday. Uh, that's what I meant to say before. Sunday is not looking like any severe weather whatsoever in this area. But as we go into Monday again, Sunday is going to be the break day. Monday or sorry, Sunday you have a break in between Saturday and Monday, so at least you have some time to recover. But Monday is right here where we have actually a very rare high pressure system really next to the low pressure system there. High pressure system is going to bring some actually really rare, powerful storms there, and then those low pressure system will feed these in the southeastern part of New Mexico. Very strong storms moving to the northern part of Texas, and then we have some sm smaller little bands into the uh, near the Wichita Falls area and the Armorilla area. So then again, Monday looking like it can be quite a messy day. So now we're going to be looking at the Plains in the Midwest now, because uh, it's not looking. We're not looking at this radar for today. We're going to be looking at it for tomorrow. And even part possible Monday. So uh, later today, nothing really here. We're gonna have a little pressures in there in Wisconsin area that could actually bring some small little storms tonight. Possible some small little storms tonight, and there are some strong storms in the uh, South Dakota area though. But uh, guys, we're not uh, really looking at it today here. We're looking at uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna have some rain showers moving to the Minneapolis area. And then later tomorrow, this is where we're going to have the action come in. This is going to be the first band that's going to form tomorrow in the south southwestern part of uh, Michigan. Very strong band to the 1,005 millibar uh, part or uh, low pressure system. It's really going to form. We're going to move a, take a rare turn to the south like we see with this one today. Uh, we're going to have some very strong storms into the Cleveland, Ohio area, into the Erie, Pennsylvania area. And then we're have a second. We're gonna have three major bands: one, two, and then three right here. And then we have some smaller ones out there. But we're gonna be focusing on these three right here, for the uh, actually from the Madison, Wisconsin area to the Fort Wayne area to the Cleveland area. Uh, they're all gonna be moving to the south, and they're gonna have some wall clouds there. These two are gonna form very quickly right here, and these are gonna really gonna form. It's gonna create a very large band there stretching from the, uh, actually parts of the Chicago area to the parts of the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area. You can really see these wall clouds forming in. The worst of it can look like it's going to be right here into the northern part of uh, Indiana and then possibly severe weather for the Pittsburgh area. And then we're going to have some very strong storms off Lake Michigan. And then we're going to have these uh, low pressures forming off in St. Louis. And we're going to bring some storms for the Jefferson City area and the parts of the Wichita area. And then these storms will continue to move south as we go more later into tomorrow. Going to bring some more storms for the uh, Louisville area. And then possibly bring some areas to the Cincinnati area. And then look, to, and then Sunday is going to be the break day for many of the areas that are getting severe weather today. But as we go into Monday, that's where we're going to have the severe weather moving on to the Ohio Valley. So we're going to be taking a look at the northeast now. Since they will be getting not, they're not going to get very severe weather today. Have again scattered little bands there that we've really been seeing quite a lot uh, this month. We're going to be seeing, we're going to be looking at um, tomorrow. Tomorrow can actually be quite bad. We're going to have tomorrow and Monday again. Sunday's going to be the break day. So again, we're just going to have these severe thunderstorms moving into the Ohio Valley, and this is all going to move into the south. We already saw this, guys. We already saw this radar. But it can bring some possible severe weather. So then that's going to move into the Virginia area. And then as we go into later today, nothing looking like today. As we go tomorrow, there's really strong bands. This is going to be the one, the one that's going to hit the Detroit area and parts of the Fort Wayne. We're going to have these those two bands start to form together. So then again, look at this. A very, very large area from some, uh, severe weather possible. We're going to have very strong bands moving into the northern part of Pennsylvania. Very strong bands moving into parts of the Pennsylvania area near the uh, Erie area and then possibly moving to the central part of uh, Ohio and then just north of the Columbus area and then gonna, again bring severe weather for the Burn Indiana area and possibly have a, quite a widespread tornado area and then later as we go later into tomorrow these storms are going to split up right here this is where they split up and then they're going to have light to moderate rain to the uh, moving to the Philadelphia area and then this is where this is going to be the worst of the side right here into the south, south uh, west or southeastern part of Indiana and then as we go later into tomorrow we're just going to have some scattered rain shower or sorry not tomorrow sorry as we go more into Sunday we're just going to have scattered rain showers moving into parts of the northeast nothing very bad just going to have some light rain but as we go into Monday we're going to have that next low pressure to move in near the uh, Toronto area gonna bring a more of a we're gonna have more of a um 
a band like Storm or on Monday, you can really see how well put together it's going to be stretching from all the way to the Canada area, Albany, New York, to all the way to the Philadelphia area, possibly very severe weather into the Albany area, and then there can be some scattered rain showers, like I said, but this will be where the worst of it can be. And then that can bring some very strong bands there possible. And then move into the New York City area and actually have it split up again. We're going to have it split up right here. And that's going to be the, the, move into the New England area. And that's going to move into the uh, to the New York City area. So, again, that's going to be Monday. So, like I said, changes. The change, one of the major changes is actually going to be the category outlook now. That's where we're going to have a, a move, up, uh, move it up a notch into level three, which is enhanced risk. So the, that's where we can have the worst of it right here again. We're going to be taking a look. Th Honestly, guys, this is nothing to worry about until the south uh, parts of the southern, south, south, southern part of the country. I couldn't get that out of my mouth. But um, nothing really actually, not even, I didn't even know how it's gotten to a slight chance. It would probably just fit better into the marginal. Not really any whatsoever storms to go in the slight we're going to be focusing on right here, it's in the slight chance we have Charlotte, North Carolina, Norfolk, Greensboro, Chesapeake, and Durham, North Carolina. And then the enhanced risk, we have the bullseye. The worst of it is going to again be in the coastal areas, like I said. It's going to be later into today where the coastal areas will get affected. Uh, but we're going to have to wait a couple hours until it hits the coastal areas. So we're going to have a Raleigh in there, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Cary, North Carolina, Greensville, North Carolina, and Jacksonville, North Carolina. So we have more of those areas that are east of the um, east of the Raleigh area. And then for tornado chances, only 2% chance, very nothing really uh, that bad. And then we have a 30% chance for uh, damaging winds into more into the Raleigh area. Uh, so we're going to have uh, Raleigh, Cary, North Carolina, Greensville, and Jacksonville with that wind area. That's actually right into the enhanced risk. And then the hill area can have that 15% chance for those same areas. It's, it's uh, stretching more to the uh, Winston-Salem area and Durham. So, yeah. So, now we're going to be looking tomorrow, too. So, tomorrow, like I said earlier in the uh, video when we just started, tomorrow is going to actually look a lot worse, too. We're actually going to have a marginal risk moving to this area. I won't be surprised, guys, if we have a, an enhanced risk moving to the northeast by the end of tonight. So we're going to have a slight chance for these areas all the way to the Plains, to the Ozarks, to the Midwest. And then we're going to have that slight change to the New Mexico area. Nothing to worry about whatsoever, honestly. So the slight chance will cover 17 million people, including Chicago, St. Luke, or sorry, Kansas City, Wichita, uh, Saint, um, Aurora, Illinois, and Overland Park, Kansas City. And now in the worst of it for tomorrow, this is where the bullseye will be so far that we know of. Uh, that's where we have a population of 4 million people for the St. Louis, Missouri area, Springfield, Illinois, uh, and Columbia, Columbia um, Missouri, and Decatur, Illinois. So that's where we're going to have the bullseye for tomorrow. Check out, um, just looking like it's going to not be, again, not going to be a really high chance for moderate. Well, it's not looking like that so far. But uh, it's looking like an enhanced risk so far for what they have today. And then we go to day three, which is Sunday. Again, Sunday is a break day. Nothing really, just a marginal risk for those areas moving to the plains. Nothing to worry about actually whatsoever, honestly, for day three, which is Sunday. Again, Monday will be that next day that can have the severe weather. So, guys, not only, like I, I keep on saying this because a lot of people are just keep on forgetting about this threat. The flooding threat, it's not just severe weather, guys. One of the biggest threats is actually flooding with, that comes with this severe weather. Because a lot of people underestimate how deep a puddle is in the street. And once they go over it, they actually, it goes over their car. So, we're going to be taking a look actually all the way into the uh, after Monday area. In the next 24 hours, we're, we're going to see just a little bit of rain moving into that North Carolina area. Just under, just under a inch up to uh, 0.9 inches there. Uh, I'm not sure why this is taking so long to load. I'm expecting this to load faster. All right, there we go. So the next 54 hours, which is Sunday, that's where we can actually when the storm's over into the southeast. Going to get only up to 1.2 inches into that Virginia Beach area. And then as we go more into the uh, Monday area, the, uh, Monday we can actually have quite a lot of rain moving into the Oklahoma City area, into the Wichita Falls, Texas area. We can actually get up to two and a half inches there, and then we're going to have a lot of rain into the Cleveland area and Erie area, which is where they're going to get a lot of rain in the next couple of days. Uh, just a lot of rain. And then by Mon or by Tuesday, it's looking like they had just had the same amounts there possible again. Uh, not a, a humendous or sorry not a tremendous chance for having a lot of rain we're just going to be doing a quick look at the um 
a quick look at the Cape values now at five o'clock. Just gonna have some scattered little numbers up there, just 2,700 into the parts of Minnesota, and then we're gonna go to 11 p.m. o'clock, 11 o'clock tonight. We're just gonna have again the same numbers, just a bit more into the um, move into the um, uh, what's it called, Wisconsin area. So, but tomorrow is looking like the worst day with like Cape values wise, and actually also the severe weather. So in the southern part of Oklahoma, 4,200. Same thing with Dallas, 4,200. These are all going to connect right here near the uh, parts of the uh, Decatur area. Uh, it's going to all connect near the Decatur area, bringing Aurora, Illinois, uh, 3,500. Chicago, 2,600. And uh, the South Bend area, Indianapolis, where we can have the strong borns, uh, those, uh, the worst of it is going to be tomorrow in the South Bend area. And they're actually going to get the first of the uh, tomorrow. We go to 8 p.m. tomorrow. We're really going to have some staggering numbers out here to the uh, west of the Shreveport area. Very, very high numbers. We're going to have 5,300, 5,400. Again, very high numbers there. And then parts of the southwestern part of Arkansas, we're going to have 4,200, 4,300. And then same thing with the northern tip of Arkansas. And then we go to 11 p.m. It's going to get a bit calmer. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for the new, uh, the uh, latest updates on severe weather. And then, yeah, see you guys in the next video, and bye.